Hello everyone, this is Joker and welcome to my channel. Today, no Star Wars, but Warhammer 40k. The new custodians have come out and I will, uh, well, show the pre-order of uh, this week. Well, at least the things that came in. The dice, the cards, the codex and the Alaris custodians. I have not ordered that special character. I've got the name right now because I don't, I'm not quite sure if I will be using it. Or not, I want to read the codex a uh, little bit fuller before, before I decide how to build my army. So, minus that one, this is what I will be showing to you. I will not go through, uh, through all the rules of the codex, because, well, there's enough on there, there on, the, on, on the web already to be found about, even on the official website of Games Workshop community. And if you really want to play Custodes, you will buy the codex. Anyway, so you will have the rules then for yourself. All right, I will start with the codex though. So let's open it up. Careful not to cut my pages, of course. All right, there we have the codex out of the wrapper. I will flick through it. Quickly enough, it's just a standard collector, uh, the, the standard player edition. They have a collector's edition and an even more expensive collector's edition. But personally, that's for me too much money, and I rather put that money in models and other equipment that I will be using, except for well, codex I will be using, of course. But well, this one suffice more than enough. All right, it has a warrior custodian guard, of course, on the front with this custodian spear, really typical of the custodes. Well, and then here, the first few pages with the introduction and the contents. As you can, uh, maybe you can see a little bit of a glare here. It has the introduction, the brotherhood, and tells about the history, the, the diff, different types of them, the different units, and then Splendor of Holy Terra, the Eagle of Vigilance. I have no idea what that is yet. I will be reading on that later. And then the army, of course, and behind that, the relic stratagems and point values and the such. It has lovely artwork as we have come to be used by GW. A lot of it will probably will be new because the custodians as the army it is right now. It is a lot different. Here you have the tail of the 10,000 as you can see. My first impression, it looks awesome. I mean, look at this artwork. It's amazing. I can't wait until these models come out. Showcasing. And then the armies, I will be flipping through that. All right, that was the codex. Then we have the playing cards. Playing cards. Ooh, so the playing cards. Oh, no, stretching cards. Of course, the standard command rerolls. Then you will have the other stratagems. I will be reading those really attentively later on because I already have seen a few very interesting ones before on the community website. One that you can swap out Warlords. I really would say that one is a strong one. And we have tactical objectives. And of course, no psychic powers. And on the back, really lovely. I must say, this is really, really lovely artwork on the backing. Nice regal red and full on golden. Oh yeah. I think these are one of the better looking backs that I have seen. And then over to the dice. I have already opened the dice. So they will not be <laughs> slightly like this in there, but 
I wanted to roll them for a quick moment. As you can see, you see the inquisitorial or the Theron eye actually, like the sigil of Malkador, with the eagle in there and the lightning bolts of the Emperor. But that is all ancient history. And the skull on the one. I must say, I am kind of disappointed of the packaging, but they roll real nice. And I must say, with the 20 dice, I roll an average of four ones, and sometimes a bit much too, but mostly really more than our average. At least that feels like it. And that's a good feel with dice to be knowing that you roll really well. All right, and then to the Alaris Custodes. I have no idea how I will be building them yet. I already have a small custodian army, so they will be really nice. I'm probably gonna make one a shield captain, not sure. Because I also want a shield captain on the bike, but hey, each their own per personal references and such. I must say that's really amazing. I'm really gonna try to keep this one neat. I mean that's that's really awesome. And then the how to build. I really must say the new way of uh, how they do the booklets with the coloring. It's it's a bit more uh, obvious now how you need to do it. I really hope the cloaks can be attached later on because of painting, but that's each to their own how their preferences are. Here you can quickly see how you can all build them. And then the Alaris Custodes rules. I will not, not show them fully because you will be buying them yourself. I can say there you see the special abilities, but they are really tanky. Four wounds, more I won't say. And well, okay, one more thing. They have a two plus save. And of course, it's in every language. Okay, this is amazing. Too bad this is not done in the middle with over two pages. But wow. Just amazing. I'm really, really, ah, oh, damn. The artwork is on point. I kind of am sad that I didn't buy the more expensive codex because of the artwork on the front of it, but like I said, I do not find the extra bucks for it worth it because I rather have the models. As you can see here, there's again a banner in there, so it's good, no shields. And okay, you either build them as a spear or as an axe that leaves out a few bits because that means only three axes or three spears. Not sure if I'm really, really uh, psyched about that. It makes it harder for me to magnetize, but hey, I really understand that on a game, on a uh, games workshop perspective. Because now, if I want to have both options, I will need to buy two boxes and with. How they are looking. I mean, just look at that. They are amazing. They look marvelous. You love them or you hate them. Some say they look too much like space brains, but I don't think that at all. Sure, they have powered armor, so have Sisters of Silence, so have Sisters of Battle, and they do not look like space brains as well, same as Inquisition. All right, my 10 minutes are up. Not that I exactly need to do 10 minutes, but hey, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please press the subscribe button. Please press the thumbs up. And I will see you all next time with another unboxing and another quick preview. And I wish you all a good day. Stay safe.